we've uh, installed second generation Starlink uh, satellite internet on the roof. Not a very high house. Um, we use the existing mount that came with rather than a roof mount. Uh, we put bolts through the existing holes that came in this mount and then we put liquid nail, just cocked it around so water doesn't seal. Um, we got trees probably about 60 yards over to the east and then this being north uh, there's not many trees and then northwest the satellite we're located in Tallahassee Florida um, satellite kind of wants to go north northwest these trees which are about a good 80 yards uh, do kind of block some satellites um, they're just pine trees they're tall but it's still a good enough clearance um, and so it's working pretty good um, the range on the router that comes with the uh, Starlink is not that great you know I've run it in 2.4 Hertz and 5 Hertz obviously 2.4 is for a further distance we're trying to share the internet between this house and that house and uh, you know it's tough signal over there it's not that great uh, we have ordered the adapter where we can plug in our own router um, I hope that works because uh, the new router would definitely be more powerful than the router that the Starlink came with um, but speed test has put us about 67 megabits per second um and you know we're just in north florida so i don't know and i don't know if it has to do with the positioning we did get a, a alert from the app saying that our up and down bar that's right here is not up and down it figured out it's kind of tilted i guess um so the solution for that is to get the roof mount, uh, which we did order. Uh, we are gonna definitely try to use the Dish Network one, but um, we did order the Volcano roof mount. So uh, as soon as that comes, that'll make this bar instead of slanted. You can see um, it'll make it go up and down. Like I said, the, the app for the Starlink had noticed that the pole wasn't straight up and down and let us know.